Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about passkeys, a modern, secure alternative to traditional passwords that promises to revolutionize how we authenticate users online. Passkeys offer a modern, secure alternative to traditional passwords by leveraging public key cryptography to authenticate users without relying on shared secrets. Here's how it works. When you visit a website that supports passkey authentication for the first time, your computer creates a pair of cryptographic keys, a private key stored securely on your device, and a public key that you share with the remote server. The private key never leaves your device, enhancing security and minimizing the risks associated with credential theft. Later, when you want to log into that site again, the site sends you a cryptographic challenge. That's a fancy way of saying that sends your computer a random string of text. That's important because the fact that it's a random string prevents anyone from reusing your authentication attempt later. Your computer receives the authentication request and then prompts you to log in securely, possibly using biometric authentication. When you do that successfully, you unlock the private key that's stored on your computer. Your computer then uses the private key to digitally sign the cryptographic challenge. It sends the signed challenge back to the remote server. The remote server then uses your public key to verify the digital signature. If everything checks out, then you're authenticated to the remote server. No passwords ever changed hands, so there's nothing that an eavesdropper could steal. Passkeys are likely to become widely adopted quickly because they provide both convenience and high assurance. That makes them one of the rare cases that aligns security with usability, and that is a winning combination. Now, before we dive into a demonstration of how passkeys work in practice, I want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. All right, let's take a look at passkeys in action. Here I am on the BMW website. I'm going to go ahead and log in with a plain old username and password combination. And what I'd like to do is activate this account for passkeys. So here on the account data screen, I can see there's an option for that. I scroll past the ID and the password, and then the next option is passkeys. And it tells me passkeys give you the option to sign in using facial recognition, fingerprint, or PIN if your device supports one of these options. So I'm going to hit the edit key here, and then I'm going to read through this. It tells me all the benefits of a passkey. Imagine not having to remember complicated passwords anymore. Passkeys are a simple and secure alternative. So let's go ahead and create a passkey. And it's going to ask me for my password again. Just to make sure we're authenticated. And then now my browser is giving me a pop-up telling me that the website here is trying to create a passkey for me to use. So I'm going to say that's okay because that is definitely what I want to do. And that's all there is to it. Up at the top of the screen, I can see a little green bar saying your passkey has been activated successfully. All right, so now here I am back at the BMW login screen, and I have a passkey stored in my browser. I've put in my email address, and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And now, instead of prompting me for a password, the BMW login screen is saying you're about to log in with Mike at CertMike.com and gives me the option to log in with a passkey, but my browser has now intercepted this, and it's telling me that this website is trying to use the passkey that we just created. So I'm going to give it permission to do that, and I'm logged in and ready to go. That's why passkeys are so simple and effective. They're more secure than passwords because there's not a password to steal, and they're much more convenient for the user who doesn't have to mess with complicated passwords. I hope this video helped you better understand passkeys. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.